Hi Taurus, <coughs> this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your next seven months reading so that you can compare it to the yearly reading as the energy has shifted a heck of a lot. Okay, I'm trying to get it onto camera as much as I can so that you can see all the cards here. I have to do it all over again because I made a booby, I forgot December and here we go my darlings if you would like an extended reading a personal yearly reading then uh, have a look below the video and there you can find all the information in how to get into contact with me and also have a look um, click on the white dot and that will take you to um, the websites okay and there you can find lots of information on readings, reviews and playlists etc etc. Okay, I know that nobody saw it coming the coronavirus but we did see a big changes and, and drastic changes but never know that or knew that it would be the coronavirus that would have such an impact on our lives. Things are getting back together again or a bit more to normal um, in Europe it is and I hope it will be around the world in China it's already uh, getting a little bit more back to normal I'm trying to get everything on the screen I'm sorry if you can't see all of it but I'll show you the cards one by one anyway so let's get started I hope every everyone is well and I hope that um, uh, you enjoy the readings. I do love all my cyber angels coming into the live sessions. They're brilliant. You can uh, ask your question there and I'll support it so long you support it with a donation by a super chat or a super sticker. Um, if you are new, welcome to the channel and click up subscription and click on the bell and on all then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up and welcome to my cyber angels right so the first card you have is the chariot and this is for June June this is June July August September October November December so we've got seven months and you've got chariot the chariot also stands for cancer so you might be meeting a cancer or you might get recognition from a cancer as this card means victory you've got public recognition it also means moving home or going on holiday that is if we are allowed if the lockdown is lifted and bit by bit it is then you've got the star the star means that you uh, have a, a wish, a goal, and it's going to come true. But it also could mean Aquarius. The star also represents Aquarius. So you might be moving home or moving in with an Aquarius. Uh, you might be also, you're moving onwards and upwards, promotions. So you might, uh, that might be your wish your boss might be an Aquarius that will promote you or um, you are in the limelight because you've got recognition public recognition and victory perhaps an Aquarius has an eye on you Ooh, nice so in July you have the ace of Pentacles and that's a new beginning like I said you might be moving in with somebody or moving home this is because this card is a new beginning with something that's durable and for long term this could be a home this could be a birth of a child or a project or this could be a relationship this could also be with an earth sign Capricorn Taurus or um, uh, Virgo and somehow or rather you might be up in your mind about it because you uh, have the two of swords you're trying to balance here but in the traditional deck you see a lady with two swords crossing her heart and her solar plex so that means that she's uh, closed the, her heart off and her solar plex 
and also she is blindfolded in the traditional card and the cat is blindfolded here as well as you can see so take that blindfold off open your heart open your mind to new ideas and open your solar plex so love and joy can come in joy will definitely be here if your wish is coming true because you'll be as happy as Larry again a card saying fertility new beginnings birth of a child birth of a project you've got the Empress the Empress also represents Libra so it could be with a Libra you're starting something new okay she also has the green fingers like the Queen of Pentacles because these two ladies are Mother Earth. They nurture everything, they're fertile, they nurture in everything like a mother and make sure it grows and blossoms so they can pluck the fruit. This could be with investments but that could also mean that the children will grow and blossom and they can see the finished product oh rather how well they've done how well their child has done so if you are investing um, something um, then uh, you could see a return and this could be a Virgo give bringing you news because you've got the ace of swords and the ace of swords well, Libra is um, an air sign. Sorry, I can't get the card. Libra is an air sign, but it could also be a Gemini. It could also be an Aquarian. Well, you've got the Aquarian here. You've got the Libra there. So those are the two prominent ones. Okay. So there could be a new communication coming from one of these two people, a Libra or an Aquarian. Uh, it could also be a new study. Okay. Because the swords stand for communication. They stand for wisdom. They stand for justice. They stand for honesty and clarity. So something will become clear to you. Perhaps you might find out that you're pregnant or you're becoming a grandmother if you're too mature to get pregnant. Okay. And let's have a look. There's some that's a beautiful message. That's a really beautiful message. If you are in a judicial affair, then uh, you will get clarity and justice will be done and victory will be yours. You'll get what you deserve and so will the other one. Now, we've also got the Two of Cups, and that's beautiful. Since you've got a lot of um, recognition with the Chariot, new beginnings uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, it could be a new job, and of course the Star. Perhaps your wish was a job that you really are passionate about. Um, but if you are not hooked up, you could be meeting a matey or a soul uh, a soulmate or a best friend of life it doesn't have to be a partner it can be a good good special friend you are in, in emotionally in balance because you've got the two C's the two of cups and that is in September as this is June July August September and I think you will be emotionally in balance as you are having a new beginning. You might have felt a bit uncomfortable the last couple of months um, because of the uh, ish situation at hand um, and also because it is a transformational period because since the end of May, beginning of May, countries are um, easing up on the coronavirus lockdown and um, so you might feel a bit out of balance um, but you're coming slowly back into balance this is a transformational period okay in one way you are more in balance perhaps more in balance by being home um, and now you might be happier in uh, September because you can you you're used to going backwards and forwards working from home and working from the office 
that could be that new beginning like I've been telling everybody in 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 May and April I think a lot of people will be working from home more often in the future so I think you've balanced out you're one of the strong ones that's coming out and you thinking of it as you're, you're feeling as if it is a, a, a your soulmate you feel at home doing this going backwards and forwards okay and you are supported there is definitely a lot of balance because you've got a two here you've got a two here emotional balance um, getting new ideas okay new ideas victory uh, again you've got temperance and temperance represents Sagittarius so perhaps you want to get balanced or you are balanced now in October between work and home and working from home and work but be careful maintain that balance because if you are hooked up then the rest of the family might seek your attention as well and you have the uh, Queen of Pentacles so that is Mother Earth like the Empress so again you've got you might be a lady and you might be trying to create balance and you found the balance between home life and work you've got green fingers and you represent fertility birth of projects birth of children <coughs> perhaps you might find out you're pregnant in October instead of um, August okay so don't give up hope if you're not pregnant and you want to get pregnant in August because it is coming towards you sorry that is Millie she sometimes see ghosts flying past <laughs> anyway um, you'll be nurturing something in uh, October and it will grow because you'll make sure it will and then you can pluck the harvest perhaps you are plucking the harvest in October perhaps some of you are already pregnant and giving birth in August or October now and that could have been unexpected you weren't planning uh, to get pregnant and you are because we stayed at home and we stayed together okay now in November you have the call the call means judgment the judgment card means new beginnings or a second chance okay so that could be that your soulmate uh, perhaps um, you you met them already and you're moving in in June uh, with your soulmate or you might be uh, moving home and buying a home uh, with your soulmate um, and it's going from good to better and better and better you might be expending the family um, unexpectedly in August and or giving birth in August or in October let's have a look um, there was something if um, if you have been separated or if you were separated um, then there might be a reconciliation perhaps that's where you're trying to find the balance the balance between the idea shall I or shan't I get back together again bring a new if it is a Virgo a Capricorn or a Taurus perhaps you might are considering reconciliation to be strong together because if you come together and you are together you stand stronger and you feel it is your soulmate so there you are I think that could be uh, the, um, the situation at hand as well but to try to you have victory if that's your choice okay but you must keep the communication going and you must keep clarity going you must get things clear set your boundaries and know their boundaries so that you don't fall back into the same bad old pattern you're getting a second chance here now you've got the five of cups let the past be okay don't go and dig up the past make sure what you that you want 
to have this reconciliation make sure that you don't that's one of the uh, um, um, boundaries that, mm, that the past will not get discussed so that arguments can not arise get the past worked out and talk about it and then start afresh it will take time to uh, win confidence and trust again on either side and you can change the present and the future it's up to you both now you've got the six of fire so again uh, you have the victory you've got the six of fire you have victory look at the laurel uh, or wreath of victory you are the champion you've got recognition again wow you've got recognition in june and recognition in december it won't be easy if you do reconciliation re reconcili re reconcile it won't be easy but so long you know the boundaries no is no um, don't repeat old habits keep the communication going and be clear then you'll be fine you've got the king of swords so it could even be with a Gemini Wow I'll come back to that in a minute so let's recoup it could be Gemini Cancer Aquarian is also an air sign the three signs of the earth signs Taurus Capricorn or Virgo it could be any of the three signs but we've got Aquarius we've got Libra and we've got Gemini so very prominent they've come out together in one card that's the victory card the sword but also in each separate card and Cancer is a separate card and Sagittarius the Queen of Pentacles uh, that is Virgo so that is also an earth sign again confirmation earth sign okay that's it so you've got definitely um, the three air signs and you've got uh, one earth sign and a Scorpio because that's death there is a new beginning so something is transforming so you've got two water signs three air signs and one you've got all the signs but definitely prominently Virgo now the king of uh, swords is a man this could be an advocate this could be a lawyer this could be a social worker this could be a surgeon this could be a hairdresser or a butcher some somebody with the uh, career of something cutting okay or to do with law or teaching or presentations like a teacher a presenter a storyteller an author an artist that is communication so it could be anybody with that if you don't know the earth sign if you let's say you get Pisces um, or, or um, Leo and they're artists or writers then that resonates so um, it, they could give you advice or it could be one of those people that you might reconcile with but the king of swords always cuts through to the core for precision and clarity and justice and you do have victory so I do think with all these victory cards I think you know you have had help it could be any of the signs that I've mentioned because here you're walking around trying to balance with a blindfold and actually um, with this card um, there's the eight of swords in the traditional tarot it's a lady that feels cornered in with a blindfold and tied up but here he's not wearing a blindfold but it is the eight of swords but he's scared to jump so I think you have asked for advice and help before you are prepared to take that jump so come out of your mind and take action focus on what is around you not right in front of you you've got the recognition one two and three so you've got three of Pentacles so three is again 
uh, confirming you've been creative you have uh, got recognition three cards of recognition awesome so believe in yourself a little bit more Taurus okay now train your memory now train your memory is the inspiration card and look at this this looks like um, uh, one of those marigolds and then they uh, go and have um, those little puffs and then you do your wish and you blow away well you've got the wish card here but you can also when I train your memory is think positive believe in yourself not only the memories remember keep the good memories learn from the good memories and the bad memories but leave the bad men memories um, behind like I said clear the negativity before you can move on leave the old memories behind don't drag old dragons don't drag a dead horse that's it we in Holland say don't drag the cows out of the canal old cows out of the canal okay by training your memory and I say your mind reset your mind to positivity you'll be able to return to early childhood recollections of love peace and joy and back even further to your origination you might discover that you have more access to your past and your spiritual being beginnings than you would have believed so reset your mind to positive thinking and be clear in communication and vision now there are things that you don't know about okay you've got the study you've got the books so you might start a new study you might gather wisdom it is time because you've got a clock on the book but also a lock so there are, there needs to be done more research especially with the moon and the sun and the star they are spotlights when something is a spotlight it also illuminates something the illumination here is clear cut honest um, knowledge and information this stands for knowledge this stands also for things that you don't know so you need to do more research before you take the next step don't make the same mistake as you've done in the past you've got the ten of coins here so there's an um, there might be a promotion like I said that might be your wish with the chariot onwards and upwards the victory card the hero and the heroine card the same with the six of staves okay now I'm got a new card and this is from the ordinary world as they say show and tell the man that made this uh, deck this could is, this is something you could play with with the children because they will have to describe what they see in the picture on the other side you can play this with the whole family this man is a billionaire and he sent uh, sold billion of copies but even they are using it in the professional life now like psychiatrists psychologists social workers CEOs managers manager manageresses that do job evaluations or evaluations of situations what does this card mean to you are you frustrated and do you want to shout out your frustration about the coronavirus or anything else or because we had uh, the past here and somebody might be coming back I do you want to shout at them do you want to find out the truth Wow do you want to be forceful or do you want to be gentle do you want to uh, like a helmet it's got a visor do you want to keep uh, uh, what you call it uh, blinkers on or do you want to see the truth do you want to be open and honest what does this card say to you do you want to stay in a team a team can also gossip or these are beautiful cards you've got number eight here and here eight stands for strength eight stands for money what does this card mean to you 
Do you want to be in a group? Do you want to belong to a group? Do you feel lonesome? Do you want more attention from your partner or your best buddy? Because you've got the Two of Cups. This reading is really extensive. You can take it any way you like. You can take it as a love reading. You can relate it to love. You can relate it to career or to your family life. Forgiving and learning. Well, if you are having or thinking about a reconciliation, forgive and learn. Like I said, leave the past the past. Don't drag the past into the future. Be clear about it. You've got the swords. Come out of your head. Open your heart and your solar plexus. The two of swords and the eight of swords. Okay. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Now think about that. Well, Taurus, I hope you've enjoyed that reading. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the live sessions. If not, I would love to see you in the next video. Please share the video with family and friends and you know take from the reading what you can if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign okay that's the cat she always comes in and disturbs my cards well that's my matey she's a Sagittarius okay Taurus take care and God bless